Hey guys, it's Ali from Shahani Motors. Now, I want to make a quick video, uh, maybe to help somebody else out. I know these cars are kind of becoming obsolete and older, but um, so we had a 1994 Toyota Camry in our shop, and um, the, the reason the customer dropped it off was it had a check engine light, and um, so they wanted us to diagnose it. Now, you know, we said, fair enough, not a problem. So, I, you know, we had to break out our old scanners and um, they had this, this is the port for pre-OBD2, um, the scanner um, adapter. So we busted this out real quick, took out the old snap-on, um, but for some reason we weren't able to get communication with the scanner. Now we said, okay, fair enough, it's only that one scanner. So we took out our other scanner, still could not get communication. Now that's the high-tech way of doing it. Now the low-tech way of doing OBD2 cars is basically um, there's two pins inside of the diagnostic connector and when you bridge those pins it'll give you a flashing sequence um, of the check engine light and you can then go ahead and look up those codes to see what they are and um, basically what the code is for. So now we even tried that and that also failed. Um, there was no flashing of the check engine light. So then we said, okay, there's two ports on this vehicle. Now, this is, again, this is a 94 Toyota Camry V6. Now, there's two ports on this vehicle. One is under the dash. The other one is under the hood. So we first uh, did the one under the dash. That didn't work. We did the one under the hood. That didn't work. So now we're, you know, we have like two scanners out, a bunch of adapters. We've tried everything on this vehicle, and we're kind of like, man, what the hell is really going on here? Um as, as some of you might know, you know, OBD2 starts in 1996 is when it started. But so the thing that, and what ended up happening with this vehicle was that actually this was the pre like, you know, the early, early days of OBD2. So this vehicle, even though it had the old school port in it, it ended up being that it also had an OBD2 port that was, you know, in the same spot where right underneath the like a coin tray on the you know driver's side. And behind the coin tray, they had an OBD slot. And the vehicle, even though it was a 94, communicated with our regular scanner and we were able to retrieve the codes and uh, get the customer the information they needed to get, you know, we can fix the, the, the problem that they had with their vehicle. Uh, so I just want to make this a quick tip. It's a very strange one um, for some people because we were pulling our hair out, not understanding why the vehicle was not communicating. Um, but it did end up having an OBD2 port, even though it was a 1994. Uh, hope this video helps somebody. Um, if it does, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Thanks. Till next time.